y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Tanisha and in this video we're gonna talk about how to build your confidence and self-esteem but before we hop into this video please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel let's get into it right now. so the first step to building your confidence and self-esteem is to drum roll please <laughs> purge your social media feed and surround yourself with positive influences tanisha what do you mean purge your feed here's what i mean by that purging your social media feed is so important to your mental health i don't think a lot of people take into account how following people that make you feel insecure following people that make you feel inadequate really really affects your mental health Okay, the information that we consume on a daily basis significantly impacts our self esteem. When you're going through your social media account and you're going through the people that you follow, start to follow people that inspire you, start to follow people that really practice self love, self care, and confidence because you can really learn from those people. For me, I love following affirmation pages, whether it's on Pinterest or it's on Instagram. I go on affirmation pages to get like a boost of confidence, self-esteem. You know, sometimes you do need to read quotes and things that make you feel good about yourself. I make sure that I am protecting my mental health when it comes to my social media accounts. I really do. I make sure I follow people that align with the woman that I want to be, you know, those that inspire me. Yes, social media has done amazing things. Social media has created so many opportunities for people. It's been so many positive things. But on the flip side of that, social media can be damaging if it's not managed well. That's what I mean by purging your social media account. Surround yourself with positive people. I'm telling you, get them swears up out your circle. And that's real talk. I don't care if it's family, I don't care if it's friends that have been with you for 15 years. If they're not adding to your life in a positive way, cut them off. You don't need to surround yourself with people that are negative, people that don't make you feel confident, people that constantly have something to say, like people that always have something negative to say. That's draining and I have been around people like that and I've also had to cut off people like that because it's not worth the headache. Those type of people are not worth the headache. They always complaining. They always got something to say about you or what you're doing or how you do it and stuff like that. Get them swears about your circle for real. Cut off negative people. It's important to your growth, to your confidence, to your self-esteem. So connect yourself with positive people, people that encourage you, people that uplift you, people that inspire you. The next step to building your confidence and self-esteem is focusing on your strengths. Everyone has unique talents and strengths. Identify your strengths to feel confident in your abilities. Stop comparing yourself to others and focus on things that make you, you. We know that comparison is the thief of joy. Why do people allow comparison to rob them? Because I try to stay in my lane as much as possible, okay? I don't try to get into nobody else's lane, trip off what they doing or how they doing things. No, that's not me. When you are comparing yourself to others, you begin to go places mentally that you shouldn't go. Like I said, I try to stay in my lane as much as possible and do the things that I need to do to keep my confidence up, to keep my self-esteem where it needs to be, you know? Um, and that's what this video is about. And so that's why I wanted to create this video to shed light on some of these things that we as people, as humans, um, we're going through, you know? And how we can overcome these issues when it comes to confidence and self-esteem. So you have to ask yourself questions. Are you a good listener? Are you a great problem solver? Leverage what you have. Leverage what God has given you. We all have something unique. Don't sit there and say to yourself, well, I ain't got, you know, I ain't got nothing. You no, know, I, don't, I don't think I got nothing unique. You do. You do. You 
do have something unique. You have strengths. You do. You just gotta figure them out. Sometimes figuring it out takes months. Sometimes figuring it out takes weeks. Sometimes things take years. For a long time, I thought creativity was only limited to people that had artistic creativity. But creativity comes in different facets. My creativity shows up in content creation. That's why I love creating content. This is something that I absolutely love. And so that's where my creativity comes alive. And so figure it out. What's unique to you? What are your gifts? What are your talents? Leverage that. And another thing that I want to give you all, stop chasing the money. Once you have the passion and the purpose for your life, the money will come. You don't have to chase it. If it's yours, it's going to find you. If God got your name on it, you'll never miss it. And so I just really wanted to throw that in there to stop chasing money. <laughs> and that's just a little, you know, little, little nugget. You know, little nugget I wanted to give y'all. You also got to put the work in. Because faith without works is dead. Okay? Faith without works is dead. Okay? Rest for success. <laughs> no. <laughs> got to do that over. Got to do that over. Because that wasn't good at all. <laughs> I need to stop playing. I really do. Dress for success. <laughs> Why do I say it like that? Another step to building your confidence and self-esteem is to dress for success. When you look good, you feel good. And that's just what it is. Start off by investing in clothes that flatter your figure and make you feel comfortable and confident. I just had to tell myself the other day, like, you know what? I don't really like how graphic tees look on me. I don't know what it is. Like, I see the girls, they be rocking the graphic tees, they be looking good. But for me, graphic tees don't look the best on me. They don't. They don't. They don't look good on me. I don't know. I just, I don't know. And I got like, I got graphic tees. But I just was thinking to myself yesterday, I'm like, you know what? I don't really like how graphic tees look on me. They don't flatter my body. So I need to stop wearing them. <laughs> so take time to build a wardrobe that you are confident in, that you love. I just looked at some clothes that I had from last year. And I'm telling you, it's almost a stark difference in how I dress. I'm looking like, oh no, I got to take some of this stuff to uh, the thrift store because I don't dress like this anymore. And that's just from last year. So take the time to build a wardrobe that you love. So I have a video that I'm going to pop up right here on how to find your style and build your dream wardrobe. Check that video out. And your wardrobe doesn't have to be expensive. Just find clothes that fit well and complement your personal style. Feeling put together can really impact your day. I'm telling you, I be clean. Do you hear me? When I go to work, I am clean. I love dressing up for work because on the flip side of me looking good and feeling good, I'm dressed for where I'm headed, not where I'm at. I know people at the office, they like, they probably ask themselves, why does Anisha dress up all the time? Because I'm dressed for where I'm headed, not where I'm at. I'm dressed as the woman that I aspire to be. You don't have to wait to dress like the woman you want to be. Start right now. And so that ties into my next point. Visualize success and practice positive affirmations. See, I already hit on this. Visualization is a powerful tool for boosting confidence. Take time to visualize yourself achieving goals and repeating positive affirmations. Let's say you have a speaking engagement and you say to yourself, you know, I do want to deliver this speaking engagement flawlessly. Practice positive affirmations. Close your eyes. I don't know why I just did that. Close your eyes and tell yourself, I am capable. I am confident to increase self-belief. 
And that's just one point of view when it comes to visualizing success and practicing positive affirmations. And I talk about dressing for success and how I go to the office and I am dressed, dressed for where I'm headed, not where I'm at. I meant that. I truly believe that God has taken me somewhere. I really do. You are a aspiring content creator. Envision yourself hitting follower milestones. You got to do it. Imagination is everything. You have to believe that it can be yours. Now, the other side of that is to work for it, work through it. And it's not going to be easy. And that's for anything. Anything worth having is it's not going to be easy to attain. So you have to work at the things that you desire. You have to work for those goals. And you also have to reframe those negative thoughts and turn them into positive ones because our thoughts significantly influence our feelings. So you have to learn to recognize negative thought patterns and reframe those thoughts into positive ones. It's all about how you speak to yourself. That's a going point on my videos. I'm, I'm always going to encourage you to speak life over yourself because it's so important. It's so easy for us to say what we cannot do, what we don't like about ourselves. Why isn't it easy to say good things about ourselves, to think positively about ourselves? So I'll never stop encouraging people to become the best versions of themselves. I won't because daily I have to encourage me to become the best version of myself, to become better so that's why it's so so important to building your confidence and your self-esteem by envisioning the things that you want in life envisioning the life that you desire the goals that you want to hit how you want to look the things that you want to have those things are important for you to get to that next level in your life that is why this point is probably the most critical point on this video it's the most critical point to you Building your confidence and your self-esteem. Walk like the woman you want to be. Talk like the woman you want to be. You don't have to wait on perfect circumstances to become the woman that you want to be. If I drop 20 pounds, I'm going to become the woman I want to be. No, do it right now. Be her right now. Don't do yourself like that. Don't wait for perfect moments or perfect times or perfect circumstances to become the person that you want to be. And that's period. My next point on building your confidence and your self-esteem is to celebrate wins big or small. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> because we tend to skip over the small things. We do. Oh, you know, it's not a big deal. You know, the big goals when I hit those, those are the only goals that matter. No, small goals matter as well. Take time to acknowledge those small wins. Did you manage to wake up 15 minutes earlier for a week straight? Celebrate it. Did you work out for 20 minutes a day? Celebrate it. Celebrate the small wins. Write down the things that you're grateful for each day to cultivate a positive mindset. Gratitude allows you to have a positive outlook and it boosts your self-esteem. That's important. I stay journaling. I love to journal. I love to journal about my day. I love to journal about what God is doing for me. It's my thing. And so if it's not your thing to journal, find something else, which leads me to my next point. <laughs> this video just flowing. <laughs> so my last point on building your confidence and your self-esteem is to create a confidence toolkit. What is a confidence toolkit? I'm glad you asked. It's a personalized toolkit with resources and strategies that help boost your confidence. This could include affirmations, uplifting quotes, or even a playlist with empowering music. It's whatever you want it to be. For example, you can write down a list of positive affirmations, collect inspiring quotes from successful people, create a playlist of music that uplifts you, which I know nothing uplift you like some gospel. I'm telling you, you going through something, throw on some gospel. Gospel gets you right each and every time. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Utilize these tools whenever you need a boost. 
And that's going to be important to helping you with building your confidence and your self-esteem. I'm already doing this. I'm not suggesting things that I don't already do for myself. I always write down quotes. It's gotten to the point that if I see something even in the comment section on a video and I like what the person said, I literally write down what that person said. That's how deep in this I am because you need the encouragement. You need the encouragement. We all do. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please be sure to share some of your confidence boosting methods in the comments below.